How are you doing, everybody? Arcader Zero here. Uh, talk about another role-playing game. When I just got in from uh, the publisher or the author is Alan Bear. I think I said his name right. It's called Crescendo of Violence. Um, I was kind of excited to get this. Um, it is a very, very cool uh, world that he set up. It is not cyberpunk. It's more like cyber jazz. It says it's a neon noir role-playing game. Um so it does have elements of cyberpunk in it. You can have, you know, limb replacements, biotech, things like that. And uh, the world that he's set up, I think, is hasn't really been done before, at least not done this well. Um, and for that, I, I give him props. Now, the book, the book is about 140 pages or so. And I wish there was more. Um that's my big complaint about this book. First of all, the art in it is fantastic. Uh, who, who's this artist guy? Does it say? Um, probably says it somewhere in here. I should have looked it up beforehand. But um, the illustrated by Andrew Thompson. The art is really fantastic. It does a good job uh, setting the mood. And uh, let's show you the back, the back cover there. Uh, I think it's the same artist throughout the, the entire book. I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but does a really good job. The system itself is pretty basic. You have your stats, and um, uh, let's say if you're, you have a stat of 3 in something, you're going to roll 3d10, and you take the highest roll, and you're going up against a difficulty no number of 1 to 10. So if the difficulty number is 7, that's obviously more difficult than a, a task that is three um and you roll a bunch of dice and you keep the highest one so the more dice you get to roll the the higher ch chance you have to succeed um the book is very light for 144 pages i wish there was a lot more i wish there was more on the world book i wish there was more to uh your upgrades because i think it only spends like maybe a page or two on like cyberpunk uh, upgrades or cyber jazz upgrades. Um, it's got an interesting section on hacking. Uh, I kind of like that. Um, yeah, it was like very small, like weapons mods. There we go. See, so yeah, it's only a, it's only a few paragraphs there. And armor, everything is is very light and doesn't really. Give me a full feel of immersion uh, like a cyberpunk setting should when you're getting uh, upgrades or anything like that to you. Um, so overall, I'd probably give this uh, maybe six or seven out of ten because um, the art is fantastic. The idea is great. I just wish they did more. Maybe they're going to come out with a second one. Maybe he does a Kickstarter. If he does, I'll back that. Uh, where, you know, it's a, it's a larger format book. This is a very, you know, small format book, but, you know, pretty thin. Um, and adds a lot more to the world um, because he's, it starts off really good. Um, and I'd like to see maybe more support for it, maybe something on, like, Roll20 or something like that, and maybe I might run one. But um, other than that, it's, uh, it's really good. Uh, the back of the page reads, uh, it's 2093 Neo New York, a dystopian technology marvel where concrete high-rises brim with holographic neon as gilded mob bosses, flashy CEOs, and famous vid stars all strive to consolidate their power over the masses. And while the rain reflects the neon, it never washes away the grime and filth of the streets. Um, welcome to the world of synth jazz and cybernetics where the status quo grinds down hardworking man and the background clone alike um so it, it's it does a really good job with uh setting up the world i just wish there was more to it um and that's that's my review of uh crescendo of violence uh what did you think do you have it um have you run it um let me know in the comments down below uh like and subscribe and all that crap um hope everybody is doing well bye